Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you're having an awesome day so far today. I am because it's looking like Bitcoin's finally confirmed a reversal. So I just jumped into a trade about not even 10 minutes ago. And now we're just waiting for some sell walls above us to be eaten. But our overall target is the structural value area low, which is around 62,600. And I'll share my screen just so you guys can see what I'm looking at, but it's it's looking good so far. So we can go from red alert to bullish, I guess. Um, green alert doesn't really make sense. But anyways, uh, let's dive into the charts. So let's see what we got. We've got price action, just price action. So we just broke the downtrending resistance that we got going on right here. And if you look, we had a really good entry opportunity when uh, we broke this down trending resistance and we had it confirmed as support right here and then we can move our stop loss right below the swing low you could have technically moved it right here but uh when, the, when, you're, when you're trading against down trending momentum like this you got to anticipate a potential stronger retest before going to higher levels especially since we're like above the poc here it kind of acts like a magnet sometimes can bring the price a little bit down lower but overall this would have been a great trade entering here stop loss below here and targeting the previous high up here and being cautious at the value area high um, overall it would have been a one to two risk to reward ratio but now we have a separate opportunity going on right now as we speak so we broke this recent high on the 15 minute time frame and we actually had some consolidation building a flag pattern we broke it uh, which is a good continuation structure and we confirmed right here and now we're just eating at the previous resistance and if we come down we're giving bitcoin the opportunity to use these levels these full body levels as a form of support before we go up for a stronger continuation the invalidation point of this move is where i have my stop loss so if i'm wrong for any reason and the market starts going against us um, if this gets hit we're actually going to have a steeper drop back down to these low levels again um, so i'm optimistic that bitcoin is going to have its recovery today and we're going to get back up to around the sixty thousand dollar levels again and focusing all along the way up at uh, these sell walls that we've got going on so we can see on the order books at 59,470 there's a total of 2,000 Bitcoin ready to be sold on uh, four exchanges in total like Binance, Bitfinex, OKX and Bybit so this is a an order book that you can get free access to on Coinglass I'll include it in the um, description down below if you guys want to have access to it um, but it's a really really good tool to identify levels of resistance before they even are formed so you can actually undercut the market makers in the order books by getting out before they're planning to get out um, some sell walls are going to be stronger than others so just keep an eye out at how much bitcoin in total is ready to be sold and some will disappear um, non-intentional fills is what they're called if you see a, a sell wall just disappear it's normally a way of trying to rug traders in trying to anticipate certain moves um, but you can get a good feel of what they're trying to do as you start to study this tool um, but that's pretty much it guys this is what i'm preparing for we got a good strong bounce so far on the daily off of the uptrending daily momentum it's tough to see on my screen i will make it a little bit brighter uh, let's see here there we go so so far you know this trend line has been active since Bitcoin was at uh, $26,000 we had a strong bounce off of it at 59,400 and we so far got a strong bounce off of it in confluence with the local level of support um, right here and today is the day that we're hoping for that strong recovery and then we're watching this descending channel and see how price action behaves inside of it and if we break this down trending resistance then we can pretty much say we can stop stressing out about the potential large drop because if we did get a drop if we do confirm with a, a daily candle close below this level then we can see levels as low as 51,000 and 48,700 um, because there's not very much volume below us so if we lose this we're gonna fall into a um, visible range volume profile valley and I'll pull that up for you right now just so you can understand what I mean by that um, so there's this tool here 
it allows you to see where areas are more likely to consolidate based on previous price action. So it pulls all the data from the candles on your screen and it creates um, opportunities where you can identify quick moves. So if we lost this level of support, we can see that we would have a relatively quick move until we get to this volume profile peak. This is an area of interest and you can anticipate that this could act as a strong level of support. And you can see it in confluence with the price action over here where it's gathering the data. Um, anyways, yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. So I'm just preparing for the reversal that's playing out right now as we speak. And if this confirms and keeps going as we're anticipating, then we're going to be watching for the downtrending level of resistance and confluence with the structural value area low and watching for some hurdles along the way up, looking at the order books and see if anyone's planning to undercut us. Uh, but overall, I am bullish. So hopefully you guys are too. <laughs> I don't want to get you see you guys get stuck in a short. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. You have yourself an amazing day and thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It helps out quite a bit. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the Discord. There is a free section in the Discord where there's a welcome chat where you can message me and I can do my best to help you out. See you guys. Thank you. Bye. It's time to rise up like a phoenix from the fire. Every day I'm going higher. And we'll